Next now to offer more perspective on this trend is Dr. Martin Landsberg, professor of neurology and neurological sciences at the Stanford Stroke Center. Doctor, really appreciate you taking the time tonight to talk about this important issue. Uh, we should point out you are also a board member of the American Heart Association, and, and we appreciate the insight tonight. So, I, you know, obviously it seems like it's a tough question to answer here. Obviously a multitude of factors at play, but, but when you look at it, what, what, why do you think we are seeing so many more strokes in younger adults. Yes, Alex, thanks for having me. Um, it's a really concerning trend that is seen worldwide. There's about 2 million strokes in young adults um, every year uh, across the world. And the main reason for this is um, risk factors. High blood pressure, obesity, and smoking are, are the leading ones. And um, those uh, are modifiable risk factors. So people can do something about it to prevent stroke. How long have we seen uh, the numbers trending in this direction uh, for, for younger adults? Um, is this a trend we have seen playing out for, for quite some time, or is this just in, in the past few years? No, this has been going on. They have been looking over a decade. Um, there's been increased incidence of stroke in young people. All right, so you, you talk about the key risk factors, and, and so how, how do we help younger adults address those key risk factors? We talk about high blood pressure, high cholesterol, unhealthy diets, lack of physical activity. How do, do you as a medical professional go about reaching younger adults and, and, and letting them know about those risk factors? Well, the AHA is playing a huge role in this. And um, probably the most important one that we can do something about is high blood pressure. And, and we also call it the silent killer because when blood pressure is high, you as an as a, uh, individual don't notice it. So you have to go to your doctor or to your pharmacy to get your blood pressure measured uh, to even know whether or not it's high because you would have no symptoms from that. And it's really important to know that the blood pressure guidelines have become uh, more and more strict. And what we now think as a normal blood pressure is that that high number, what we call the systolic blood pressure, that needs to be less than 120 to be in a normal range. Um, so the, the first and most important thing people can do is get the blood pressure cuff, go to their pharmacy, go to their primary care doctor to get their blood pressure measured and see if they are at target below that high number, if it's below 120. So, such important advice here. While we have you on, Doctor, we want to put up on the screen here uh, some of the, the, the sobering figures when it comes to strokes. Uh, strokes are the fifth leading cause of death here in the U.S. Uh, a stroke death reported every three minutes and 17 seconds, uh, as you can see there. And again, now we have this trend where we're seeing more and more strokes uh, among adults who are under the age of 50. Uh, are the strokes that you're seeing in younger adults uh, just as severe as those that it would happen to somebody who, who is over 50? Absolutely. Um, the strokes are just as severe in young people as they are in, in the older people. Young people do have a better uh, opportunity to recover from their stroke. So then in the, the younger brain recovers a little bit better, mm. um, but it's still prevention is the key here. So we need to do everything uh, possible to prevent stroke, including and what we mentioned, controlling blood pressure, mm -hmm. having a healthy lifestyle to, um, to reduce obesity and avoid smoking. And finally, as long as we have you on here, doctor, uh, remind everyone that the time is of the essence. When, when it comes to, to someone having a stroke, they need to get help fast. Absolutely. It's critical that you come to the hospital as soon as possible. And so um, what, what we tell people is uh, remember the acronym FAST. Mm -hmm. um, if you see facial drooping, arm weakness or speech trouble, uh, don't waste any time, uh, but call 911 right away so um, you can be evaluated and brought to the nearest ER uh, for evaluation and treatment. All right, great advice. I really appreciate your perspective tonight. Dr. Martin Landsberg from the Stanford Stroke Center. Good to see you. Thanks for Alex, having me. Alex, thanks for having me. Absolutely. My pleasure.